Welcome to my continuing coverage of stoichiometry and chemical equations. In this video, I will teach you four types of chemical reactions. As it turns out, there are four different types of chemical reactions that we want to focus on for this class. The first is combination reactions. So in combination reactions, two or more reactants combine to form one product. For example, sodium metal and chlorine gas combining to form sodium chloride table salt, or carbon and oxygen combining to form CO2, or magnesium oxide and water combining to form magnesium hydroxide. Anytime your chemical reaction has two or more things on the left, that is two or more reactants and only one product, it's a combination reaction because things on the left are combining over the process to yield or produce only one product. Combination reactions. The next type is the opposite, decomposition reactions. In these reactions, one compound decomposes or breaks down or breaks apart into two or more simpler substances. For instance, water can break down into hydrogen and oxygen gases, or sodium chloride could go in reverse to yield sodium metal and chlorine gas. Anytime you see only one reactant, that is the thing on the left side of your reaction arrow, and two or more products, things on the right side of your reaction arrow, you know you're dealing with a decomp reaction because you have one thing that's breaking apart or decomposing into multiple things. The third type is combustion reactions. So a combustion reaction is a rapid reaction in which a hydrocarbon, which has this generic formula where X and Y are just numbers, or an alcohol, which has this generic formula, reacts with oxygen, O2, to make CO2 and H2O. As an example, we can take ethanol, that's drinking alcohol, combine it in a one to three ratio with oxygen O2 gas, and it will light on fire to turn into CO2 and H2O products. Alternatively, we can take hexane, which is this molecule, combine it with O2 gas in a two to 19 ratio to yield or produce CO2 and H2O. You'll notice that in combustion reactions, we always, always, always start with a molecule that has only carbons and hydrogens or only carbons and hydrogens with OH, and we combine it with O2 as another reactant, and we always end up getting the exact same products, CO2 and H2O. Combustion reactions always have the same product. So again, anytime you see an alcohol that has this kind of formula or a hydrocarbon that has this kind of formula, combining with O2, that is a dead giveaway that the product will always be the same, CO2 and H2O combustion reactions and they always are accompanied by lots of fire going on so let me ask you what are some examples of combustion reactions that you see every day yeah if you said the combustion of gasoline in car engines that was a great example gasoline which is a bunch of fossil fuels hydrocarbons lots of carbons and hydrogens is ignited or lit on fire inside of a combustion engine and that Fire energy is produced to move pistons up and down, which in turn pushes camshafts, which in turn moves crankshafts, which in turn pushes wheels. That's a combustion reaction that propels combustion engine vehicles forward. And the last type we'll discuss is metathesis reactions. So metathesis reactions, which are also called exchange reactions or double displacement reactions, are reactions in which cations and anions trade partners. In other words, these are partner swap reactions. For example, let's suppose you have the generic reaction that looks like this, where A and B both represent different metal cations, whereas X and Y represent different non-metal anions or polyatomic anions. Now, in a metathesis reaction, the cations basically swap partners. So A that is originally partnered with X swaps partners and joins up with Y, whereas B that was originally partnered with Y swaps partners and goes up with X. That ends up yielding these products, AY plus BX. Now some real life examples. Here you have silver nitrate and KCl. If you look at that, hopefully you can see that this is a dead giveaway of a metathesis reaction. I've got a silver cation on the left, a nitrate polyatomic anion on the right, a potassium cation on the left, and a chloride anion on the right. What's gonna occur is the silver and chloride are going to get together and the potassium and nitrate are going to get together, which thereby forms silver chloride and potassium nitrate. This is a true partner swap, ergo a metathesis reaction. Now we of course will cover metathesis reactions in much more depth later on in chapter four. 